Toyota has been a pioneer in hybrid and plug-in hybrid automobiles since it introduced the groundbreaking Prius in 1997. These vehicles paved the way for the present electric vehicle boom. Despite its heritage, the Japanese company has been reticent to embrace the all-electric trend head-on. As of mid-October, only a few hundred of Toyota's strangely called BZ4X units had been sold. Additionally, the Japanese automaker doesn't intend to increase manufacturing until 2025, according to a report by Electric. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to tell you Toyota new hydrogen engine going to stop entire EV. Toyota is pursuing a multifaceted strategy to being carbon neutral, and the Japanese automaker may find success with it. But before we proceed and dive in full details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Toyota new hydrogen engine going to stop entire EV. Akio Toyota, president of the firm, emphasized how slowly Toyota is implementing all electric vehicles. As stated by Toyota, people active in the car business are essentially a silent majority. According to the Wall Street Journal, the silent majority is debating whether having EVs as the only alternative is indeed acceptable. However, they believe it to be the norm. Thus, they are unable to speak aloud. We shouldn't restrict ourselves to a single choice because the correct response is still ambiguous. Even though that opinion is debatable, it should be taken into account. Only a small portion of new cars sold are all electric, leaving room for alternative types of vehicles to enter the market. Toyota has chosen this route. Let's examine the hydrogen combustion engine in more detail to discover why Toyota officials believe it may eventually render EVs obsolete. Introducing the Corolla Cross H2 concept. The Toyota Corolla Cross H2 concept utilizes a brand new prototype hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicle, the GR Corolla and GR Yaris powerful 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine, which has been adapted to run on hydrogen, provides the power. The highly flammable hydrogen technology that Toyota learned with its FCEV the Mirai first needs to be stored in thick armored fuel tank. Stronger connecting rods, harder valves and valve seats, and fuel injectors made for gas rather than liquid are added to the engine. The Cross H2 concept can accommodate five passengers and their belongings much like a regular Corolla. A large hydrogen-powered V8 is in the works. Toyota and Yamaha Motor have teamed up to build a V8 engine that runs on hydrogen, which is wonderful news for all gearheads. The 5.0-liter V8, which Yamaha said would be based on the one used by the Lexus RC Coupe, was to be modified, among other things, by having different cylinder heads and fuel injectors, according to a statement made earlier this year. Yamaha claims that it will generate 398 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 455 horsepower at 6,800 revolutions per minute. Even though it has a little less power than the base gasoline V8, it is still fairly acceptable. The 8 into 1 top mounted exhaust manifold, which Yamaha claims produces a distinct high frequency sound, must be the most amazing aspect of the hydrogen V8. Though, hydrogen powered cars are quickly and easily refueled. You have to admit that, while it may not be the most exciting part of your day, filling up your gas-powered ICE vehicle is not a difficult process. Because hydrogen is a gas rather than a liquid, filling up a car with it is just as simple and takes much less time to complete. If you've ever had a propane tank filled, as opposed to being replaced with a new one, you know how quickly the procedure will go. In actuality, it takes the new Toyota Yaris GR A2 only one and a half minutes to fill up completely with hydrogen, which is far quicker than it would take for a Toyota Camry to fill up with unleaded gasoline. Hydrogen has a broad climate adaptability. Diesel fuel has long been used in vehicles that must tow and haul heavy weights, but in locations where the temperature drops into the negative double digits, they might freeze. Unleaded fuel, thankfully, can endure temperatures as low as minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what can occur with some really chilly wind chill effects. Prior to starting to freeze up, 
Lithium batteries can tolerate temperatures of up to minus 140 degrees Fahrenheit, though this can still happen sometimes, because hydrogen can tolerate temperatures as low as minus 435 degrees Fahrenheit. It is the ideal choice for all cold climates. The same is true at the hot end of the spectrum. Hydrogen is far better at adapting to different climates than the other two possibilities that are now available. Hydrogen fuel systems avoid material scarcity problems. The materials used to make lithium batteries are difficult to produce. In reality, a lot of individuals, including the CEO of Toyota, former CEO Akio Toyota, believe that there would be a shortage of lithium and battery-grade nickel, which will make it difficult to create the lithium batteries used in EVs. If hydrogen-powered engines are designed to their fullest capacity, this could prevent a significant delay in the transition to electric vehicles. Hydrogen-driven engines sound and respond like fuel-driven engines. One of the most common issues with EV cars and trucks is noise. Nothing compares to the thrill of depressing the gas pedal on an old classic muscle car, such as a 1960s. 70 Chevrolet, Chevelle SS with a large block 454, or a 1969 Ford Mustang with a 428 Cobra jet. When an automobile is about to launch, you may hear the sound of the carburetors opening as the fuel pours into the chambers, feel the power flow through your chest, and experience a complete burst of adrenaline. EVs cannot provide it, but a hydrogen-powered vehicle can because it operates in a similar manner. Hydrogen engines are completely mechanical. Nearly every corner in the country is home to a tiny local repair business, but as EVs gain in popularity among customers, you won't have that option any longer. They might be able to repair their electric engine by going online and watching a few YouTube videos, but it is strongly advised that you take it to a certified mechanic who is experienced with the most recent technology. The amazing thing about hydrogen-powered engines is that they are purely mechanical and are quite similar to fuel-powered engines. That implies that the little neighborhood shops you feel safe bringing your cars to will be able to fix them. This technology has a checkered past. The idea of using hydrogen to power an internal combustion engine is not new. The German automaker BMW is most notable for having manufactured the 750 HL in 2002 and the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. Based on BMW's conventional 6.0-liter V12 engine, the Hydrogen 7 was modified to burn both gasoline and hydrogen. Because of this, it was officially a dual-fuel engine, and only 100 of them were constructed. The fact that hydrogen is very combustible, challenging to handle and store, and produces nitrous oxide during burning are some drawbacks. EVs are not without fault either. Toyota's approach to carbon neutrality is more diverse, considering many technologies in order to accomplish the objective of zero emissions, in contrast to practically all other automakers who are placing their entire faith in electric vehicles. This mindset looks more and more prophetic in light of the fact that European nations are seeking for ways to reduce their energy use due to the conflict in the Ukraine and its effects on energy supplies. In fact, Switzerland has taken it a step further by advising EV owners to reserve the usage of their vehicles for urgencies like errands or supermarket runs. This policy may even become law. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. Do you concur that the Toyota EV will be stopped by its new hydrogen engine? Let us know your response in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.